I am very excited to be here. I'm very excited to see you, and I saw so many wonderful faces just in the beginning of the service. So, I want to say, and I love saying, hello and good morning. I am very happy to be here. I'm very happy to see you. And once again, you are fearfully, wonderfully, and beautifully made. So blessed. These are not just my heartfelt words, but this is the word of the Lord. From Psalms 139. Lord, you have seen what is in my heart. You know all about me. You know when I sit down and when I get up. You know what I'm thinking, even though you are far away. You know when I go out to work and when I come back home. You know exactly how I live. Lord, even before I speak a word, you know all about it. You are all around me, behind me, and in front of me. You hold me safe in your hand. I am amazed at how well you know me. It's more than I can understand. How can I get away from your spirit? Where can I go to escape from you? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I lie down in the deepest parts of the earth, you are also there. Suppose I were to rise with the sun in the east. Suppose I travel to the west where it sinks into the ocean. Your hand, your hand would always be there to guide me. Thank you, Jesus. Right, your right hand will still be holding me close. Suppose I were to say, I'm sure the darkness will hide me. The light around me will become as dark as night. Even that darkness would not be dark to you, O Lord. The night would shine like the day because darkness is light to you. You created the deepest parts of my being. You put me together inside my mother's womb, my mother's body. How you made me is amazing and wonderful. I praise you for that. What you have done is wonderful. I know this very well. I make my confession and I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. My inner self, my heart knows well, and it is well with my soul. Amen. I make my confession, Jesus is your blessed son. From Matthew 10, 32 through 33, very wonderful passage of scripture. Isaiah 7, 14, the Lord himself will give you a sign the virgin is going to have a baby. She will give birth to a son, and he will be called Emmanuel, God with us. Isaiah 9-2, people walking in darkness have seen a great light on those living in the land of deep darkness. A light has dawned. Isaiah 9, 6, for unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. He and he will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. I want you to know your humbleness. Your humbleness with the Lord is your power. Your humbleness with the Lord is 
your power. It shows in your faces. It shows in your hearts. The happiness, the joy of the Lord. We have made a wonderful choice being here this Lord's day. And the blessing. Our Jesus came to forgive sins. Amen. The Lord came to forgive sins. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. The Lord has put inside all men the power to see him, the power to talk to him, the power to love and serve him. He saves us from a corrupt generation. God loves his children. Our Heavenly Father loves his children. Amen. Romans 1.16 I am not ashamed of the gospel, the good news. It is God's power to save everyone who believes. It is meant first for the Jews. It is meant also for the Greeks, for the Gentiles. The, God, the good news shows God's power to make people right with himself. God's power to be, to be made right with him is given to the person who has faith. It happens by faith from beginning to end. It is written, the one who is right with God will live by faith. And I want to add this in. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You can't get around it. We need the word of the Lord. We cannot go, I, I, I cannot go by my feelings. I have to go by the word of God. When I'm at my darkest hour, I go by the word of God. The word of God says, his hand is guiding me. I speak these words because I truly want heaven to be my home. God's anger against sinners. God's anger against a corrupt generation. God has put inside everyone the power to see him and know him. From Romans 1, 18 through 32. God shows his anger from heaven. It is against all the godless and evil things people do. They are so evil that they say no to the truth. The truth about God is plain to them. God has made it plain. People have no excuse for the evil things they do. They knew God, but they didn't honor him as God. Their foolish hearts became dark. They claimed to be wise, but they made fools of themselves. They would rather have statues of gods from the glorious God than have the glorious God who lives forever. Let me read that again. They would rather have statues of God than the glorious God who lives forever. As we saw... Earlier, the everlasting Father, the, our Father God, our Heavenly Father, and our humble Jesus, His Holy Spirit. Amen. They knew God, they knew God, but didn't honor Him as God. Their foolish hearts became dark. They claimed to be wise, but they made fools of themselves. They would rather have statues of God than the glorious God who lives forever. Their statues of gods were made to look like people, birds, animals, and reptiles. So God let them go. He allowed them to do what their sinful hearts wanted to. He let them commit sexual sins. They chose to lie instead of the truth about God. Sorry, they chose a lie instead of the truth about God. They worship and serve created things. They didn't worship the creator. Amen. But he praised, but he is to be praised forever and ever. So God let them continue to have their shameful desire. The women committed sexual acts that were not natural. In the same way, the men turned away from their natural love for women. They burned with sexual desires for each other. Men did shameful things with other men. They suffered in their bodies for all the wrong things they did. They didn't think it was important to know God. I'm going to stop right there. 
It is important to know God. And you're going to know him when you get into his word. You don't have to, and you can't, it's like food. You cannot eat all the food you need for the whole year, you know, in a day. Step by step by step. The word of God is living and active. And when you get into that word, it gives you power beyond compare. Power, joy, happiness, and peace beyond compare. So, they didn't think it was important to know God. So God let them continue to have evil thoughts. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. They did things they shouldn't do to those things they, to those things which are not convenient. Some more convenient day away. Most blessed Heavenly Father, save me, save me Heavenly Father from this corrupt generation. Thank you Lord for prayer. Thank you, Lord, for prayer, because prayer works. Prayer with your heavenly Father in the name of Jesus, his blessed son, works. I want to tell you, I know it works. I, 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 we won't go there right now, but thank you, Lord, for Jesus came to forgive sins. Thank you, Lord, for saving me, heavenly Father. I have sinned. I have sinned. I have wronged. I have made mistakes, but so blessed to have Jesus, because he will wash all my sins away. Only he can do that. Only Jesus can wash all my sins away. Only Jesus can give me a home in heaven. Jesus came down from heaven, came down from glory, that I may be saved, that I may have peace. So blessed there is only one only one lawgiver, and he is the judge. Amen. From James chapter 4. Acts, uh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, again from, for saving me from this corrupt generation. Acts 2.38. Then Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. All of you must turn away from your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then your sins will be forgiven. Amen. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to stop right there. The Holy Spirit will give you power. The Holy Spirit will give you power to love him, to love your Heavenly Father, the Holy Spirit will give you power to know Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. All of you must turn away from your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then your sins will be forgiven. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children. It is also for all who are far away. Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. It is for all whom the Lord our God will choose. Peter said many things to warn them. Peter begged them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Save yourselves from these evil people. Those that say you cannot be saved for heaven. Or those that say, oh, there's so many different kinds of love. All love is good. All roads lead to heaven, and as long as we're not causing harm to others. These are the lies. These are the lies that people tell themselves. These are the lies that people tell others. Peter begged them, save yourself from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized. About 3,000 people added to the believers the church that day. It is our responsibility whether or not we are saved. If we obey the Lord, we will be saved by the loving grace of God. And part of obeying is asking for forgiveness. His forgiveness gives hope beyond compare. The Lord came to forgive sins. He gives strength to the weary. He 
increases the power of the weak. God loves his children. Most blessed, loving Heavenly Father, whatever it takes, we only want heaven in Jesus' name. Whatever good we must do, please, O oh Lord, help us to do. Sur surrendering our all. Help us in giving our daily lives purpose, making heaven our home. Helping us to have peace on earth. Peace in all of life's situations. Help us to live by your will and your way. Save us from this corrupt generation. Help us not to be those that run and hide under the rocks for the fear of the anger, the wrath of the Lamb, Jesus. Oh, blessed, our Father God. Heavenly Father, we want peace from the Prince of Peace. Help us to drink from the living water. Help us to daily learn more about your blessed Son, Jesus. In his precious name, we pray. Amen. From Isaiah 40. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew thy strength. They shall mount up with the wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. From Isaiah 40. The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary. His understanding, no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. The people who know the Lord follow him. They know there is power in the Lord. Those of Jesus would not have to run to the rocks and hide and hide from the fear of the wrath, the anger of the Lamb, because they are with Jesus. All those that have put on Christ in baptism. Amen. Galatians 3.27, baptized into Christ, clothing yourselves with Christ. This is because all of you who are baptized into Christ have put on Christ. You have put him on as if he were your clothes. This is a beautiful meditation. Putting on Christ in baptism because you love him. Fully covered in the water. The blood of Jesus. Romans 5, 9. The blood of Christ has made us right with God. The blood of Christ washes our sins away. Our blessing. Jesus came to forgive sins. Our humble Jesus, our humble heaven, came down from glory to wash our sins away. He came to forgive sins for all those that love, trust, and obey him to save us from this corrupt generation. Let us read together John 14, through 23. John 14 through 23. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned but he that believeth not is condemned already because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation. That light has come into the world. And men love darkness rather than light. Because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Neither cometh to the light. This is deeds to be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light. That his deeds may be, may be made manifest. That are wrought in God. After these things came Jesus and his disciples into the land of Judea. And there he tarried with them and baptized. And John also was baptized in Enon near to Salem. Because there was much water there and they came and were baptized. There was much water there and they came and were baptized. A few selected scriptures from Re Revelation 6 and 1. Jesus rides the horse of victory. And now I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard as if it were the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. And lo, there was a great earthquake. The sun became black as sackcloth of hair. The moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth. Even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it went when it is rolled together. And every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth, the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Revelations 1, 1 through 3. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants, his believers, things which must surely come to pass. He made clear with signs sent and signified by his angel unto his bond servant John who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that reads and they that hear the words of this prophecy, this book, and keep those things which are written therein unto their heart. For the time is at hand. Blessed are those who hear it and take it to heart what is written in it because the time is near. The time is near. I want you to know after the close of worship, I am more than willing to take more time with the scriptures to hear your observation, your words. And if there's a question I cannot answer, I can research. As the churches of Christ, Romans 16, 16, the churches of Christ salute you. We are to love and care for each other more and more each day. And that's what we do here in 11th Street. I want you to know that. 
I've been here decades, and the love and the care increases more and more each day. We are doing as the word of God says. This is a great blessing. This is why I am so happy to be here. This is why I can truly open and say hello and good morning. I'm happy to see you. You are my blessing. I need my family. I need my church family. I need you as the church of Christ. I need you as the church of God whom he had purchased with his own blood. Jesus, I need the lamb. I need the lamb. I need Jesus. It is so important we spend time with Jesus. I want you to know that I am not always mentally and physically in the same place each day. Meaning, some weeks I'm listening through the book of Revelations, takes about an hour, hour, 10 minutes from YouTube. And humbly, some days I even go from Revelations and then on to the book of Proverbs. And then at time willing, I even go on to the gospel according to John. And I promise you, it's, it's, like, a, it's like a wonderful journey. It's like, a, like I'm hiking through the hillsides and mountainsides. And I tell you something, physically though, I tell myself, if you start hiking, when I really start hiking, don't go far. Because I know I have my limitations. But that's what it's like. And those, it takes about one hour to four hours, but the time goes fast. Walking, listening, meditating, and sometimes just sitting. But then there are times when I'm only able to say aloud, humble Jesus, my humble Jesus. I tried to promise myself that I would say humble Jesus aloud seven times each day as my meditation with the Lord. I choose the number seven because of it being whole, complete with the Lord. And I want you to know that, you know, we, the most important is our heart. The most important is that our heart is speaking Jesus. Preparing our hearts for the invitation. I want you to know my small spirit is always communicating back and forth with the Holy Spirit. Amen. And my small spirit is always holding the hand of God. He is always holding my hand, even when my grip is small. I may stumble, but he will not let me be utterly cast down. He will not let me be utterly sad. Because I put my faith with him, I put my trust with him, he is always holding my hand. And the, one, the important thing for me with this is, I'm going by what's in the word of God, not my feelings. Because sometimes our feelings can get us in a lot of trouble. This is why we need to be in the word of God. It is by his grace, love, and mercy. I want you to know in our darkest hour, even that darkness would not be dark to him. With the Lord, the night will shine like the day because darkness is like light to him. In my mother's womb, he created me in darkness. I want you to know when you start praising him, confessing the holy name Jesus, a light will beam in your soul. Beams of heaven. Beams of heaven as I go through this wilderness be below. Guide my feet in peaceful ways. O oh Lord, you turn my midnights into days. Faith always sees a star hope. I will be free. Letting Jesus lead me, I will get home someday. Lord, let me drink from one fountain, the living water. Let us stand for the invitation. The water is ready. The Lord is ready. The angels in heaven are ready. Or 
we can be restored back to the Lord. Or asking for the prayers of the church, let us stand, let us stand, walking hand in hand with Jesus. Amen. The voice of Jesus, holy, darling.